Hi everyone, this video is an introduction to Tinkercad and some of the basics about how to use it. This is one of a series of videos that you might find helpful on your 3D design journey. When you log in, you'll see your dashboard and from here you can click create and choose 3D design. It might take a minute, but you'll see your work plane and from here you can get started on working with shapes. When you click and drag a shape onto your work plane, you have different options about how to work with it. Use the white and black anchor points to change the size. You can also use the sliders here in the shape parameters box to make changes. But if you look here as I drag an anchor point, it doesn't actually change the value in the shape parameters box. So that's something to keep in mind. I usually just stick to using the anchor points and the input boxes here on the shape directly. It's best to use a mouse with a wheel when working in 3D. So you can right click and drag to change position easily. You can also use control click on a Mac trackpad or command click on a Windows trackpad to do the same thing. If you want to uniformly resize the object, hold down shift when clicking and dragging an anchor point and this will make sure to scale all dimensions by the same amount. There's only one way to lift an object from the work plane and that's by using the black cone here. Click and drag to lift the piece and you can see its distance off the work plane. It's set to millimeters. And as I bring the object back down to the work plane, you can see that when it's at zero, the piece is now back on the surface of the work plane. Now let's take a look at some of the options on the left of the screen. There are two views, flat and perspective. Both can be useful at different times and I'll show you some examples of this later. You can zoom out and in. And if you have an object selected, you can fit to view, which will zoom right into the object that's selected. Click on home and that will bring you back to the same view each time. The cube on the top gives you the option of a straight on view of your objects. You can choose front, right, left, bottom, back, top. You can copy and paste and you can duplicate an object. This will duplicate it on top of itself. So you can click to drag to separate the duplicated piece. You can delete, undo and redo. And lastly, you can rotate your piece by clicking on the bendy arrow. Keep in mind that you'll get different rotate options depending on which angle you view your piece. So see this top down rotate compared with the right side rotate. And remember, rotating a round shape like this will not make any noticeable change at all. So play around with these basic features and I'll see you for more in the next video.